As researchers continue to peel back the layers on the mysteries of COVID-19, they say they may have found another piece of the puzzle. Dr. Maria Simbra explains what they found in the blood of coronavirus patients. Your blood type may hint at your risk for coronavirus. The people that tended to have more severe disease and susceptibility to COVID-19 were group A, whereas people with group O were relatively less represented. In a study in the New England Journal of Medicine, European researchers compared 1,900 people severely ill with coronavirus to 2,300 healthy blood donors. They combed through their genetic codes to see if they could find any differences. They found two genetic areas, one of which had to do with immune regulation of the body and another that had to do with ABO group. People with type A blood had a 45 percent higher risk of becoming infected. People with type O were only two-thirds as likely to become infected. People with type O blood make antibodies against type A and type B. Perhaps these antibodies are protective. It may have to do with your immune response, but it also may have to do with your level of von Willebrand factor. People with type A make more of this von Willebrand factor, a protein involved with clotting or coagulation. And there's this association with coagulation abnormalities in people with severe COVID-19. Among Vitalin's convalescent plasma donors, the pattern holds up. We're seeing slightly underrepresentation of group O, meaning these were the people that were less affected. About 45% of the population is type O, about 40% is type A. This potential difference would affect a large segment of the population. Perhaps relevant to treatment or vaccines, but on an individual basis, don't panic or get complacent. Anyone of any blood type can still have a severe infection. Focus instead on what you can control. You can improve your weight. You can make yourself in general less susceptible. You can't do much about your age or your blood type. Just another piece of the puzzle as to why some people are affected more severely than others. I'm Dr. Maria Simbra, KDKA News.